Lisa. We're out here today because it's fall and what better way to celebrate fall and my favorite things in fall than being in nature, which is one of my favorite things. I mean, year round, obviously, but I feel like especially in fall, it gets really pretty, what with like the leaves and the weather getting cooler and there's lichen on this tree. Freaking love lichen. Um, so yeah, let's get into my favorite things from fall. First section, clothes. Um, I'm gonna have to say corduroy is so cool. This shirt, don't know if you can tell, is, is corduroy. It's one of my favorite things this autumn. I just think it's really, really cool. I thrifted it, which made me feel super cool going through the thrift store and finding a find like this and being like, wow, I'm so cool. And it's, it's got like this really thin corduroy and I just think it's really cool. I have like three corduroy short shirts. Two of them are from my mom and one of them is this and a pair of corduroy pants. And they're all just like awesome. Next category is entertainment. Oh my gosh, guys, I, I am so happy with where I am in my like consumption and entertainment. Like I feel like I'm really e experiencing a lot of like really good TV shows and books and podcasts and stuff that I'm just really, really enjoying. And it's just making me feel so good as like a human being. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna tell you about some of those. For shows, Over the Garden Wall. Over the Garden Wall, it's so good, especially for fall. It's so atmospheric and beautiful. Really love just like the setting and the forest and the turkeys, turkeys. and the pumpkins. And it's just, like, obviously the plot is great. Um, I'm a Beatrice fan, love her. Um, I feel like any character named Beatrice is gonna be my absolute favorite, blame Shakespeare. It's just such a good show and it's so deep. And like, The Beast, I got like a free Hulu trial to watch it. And the thing is you can like, you can watch it really fast because it's like a mini series. So I would highly, 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 should I say it another time? Highly recommend watching Over the Garden Wall while you still can because it's, I mean, it's good any time of year, but it's really, it's really set in autumn and it's really about fall and the change of season and just symbolism, my broski, watch it. <laughs> the Good Place. The Good Place has my heart and soul, okay? This final season is just, it's just so good. I love, I love the philosophy of The Good Place. I think it's really interesting. And I, I you know, I don't 100% agree with everything they say, but I think it's a really interesting moral basis. And like watching it, I feel like it's really helped me to think about like my own philosophical beliefs and like, you know, what I really, what do I really believe? I mean, it's a sitcom, guys. It's not like, it's, it's not like really sad and they're not always like, <laughs> You know, they're not preachy about it. That's what I think that's what I like. They're not preachy about it, but you're still like learning and it, it's growing with the characters. And it's just so good. And I think it's done more from my personal philosophy than my entire um, philosophy based sophomore year English class. It's just really good. And it's like, it's the short, short, short episodes. And it's just like, it. I always want more. And I'm sad that this is the last season, but I'm so glad that they're not dragging it out and that it's ending when it needs to end. It's just such a wonderful show and I really watch it, you guys, watch it. For podcasts, I've been listening to the Magnus Archives and like, I'm not really a horror gal, but I've been listening to it and I've been really, really liking it. It is a bit scary, and I have to admit that the first season is, like, so slow. Like, I listened to it, but I didn't really like it until, like, the last three episodes of the first whole first season. Um, but I just finished up season three yesterday, or the day before that, and it was just amazing. I was like, oh boy, wow, what's gonna happen next? And I haven't started season four yet. I know that season four just wrapped up in, like, real time, but I just started listening this summer, so I'm not caught up yet. And, like, if you like scary stories, if you like like podcasts that have a really good like sense of place and sense of like world like the world building is excellent 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 and the way that it's it's a really it's a bit slow but I kind of like that because it doesn't like slam information on you everything is kind of like brought in gradually and everything makes sense like you're discovering things as the characters are discovering things everything has like a reason 
So, um, yeah, if you like podcasts or horror, the Magnus Archives is for you. I, it's not an ad, it's not. Short stories are so great, man. Um, I think I talked about the Neil Gaiman short story collection over the summer. And that one would also be so good for fall. Loki want to reread it right now. But right now I'm working through um, a collection of science fiction stories from the 70s. Um, and it's really, it's really interesting to see, like, how science fiction as a genre has changed, how writing as a whole has changed, and what people thought was important back then. And um, I know the 70s isn't like that long ago, but it's like 50 years ago now, so it's it's definitely um, long enough that you can look at it and be like, wow, that's like a long time ago, that's really interesting. Um, and also I love science fiction as a genre and the format of short stories, so like, it's really good. I don't know if I would recommend this specific collection, because it's a bit, it's a bit dry and it's a little bit dense, but I would recommend short stories as a thing, and I feel like finding your own short story collection would be, is really important. One that's good for fall that I've read in the past, October, October Country, by Ray Bradbury. So read short stories, guys. They're not a dying genre. They're really great. Please, for the love of God, read. <laughs> music? Are we going to talk about music? I've been freaking loving music lately, because um, I've been driving to school every day and home from school every day, and that's just a lot of time. And I could listen to podcasts, but I don't want to get distracted and then be a bad driver. So I've been listening to a lot of music, um, which has been so great. From, like, August to, like, the beginning of November, I listened to, like, a single playlist, which was only, like, ten songs. So I'm going to link that below, but that was, like, that was, like, my music this, this season. And it's been so good, and I've just been really loving it. Um, the song October by Lesia Cara is just... It's soft, it's so sincere, and I just really love that song. Also, if you haven't seen Ghost Choir and Ghost Duet by Louis Zong, I mean, listen to it, but also, if you haven't, like, watching the videos is such a, like, wholesome experience, and it makes listening to them in the future just so much better. I would just highly, highly, highly recommend them, because they're so good and cute and wholesome, and that's kind of what we need right now, yeah? I've been finding a lot of new music lately because I've been actually listening to my Spotify Discover Weeklies every week, which, you know, it's it's kind of crazy. Like, I found a lot of new music. Some Most of it I don't really like or I, like, tolerate it, but I found a lot of songs that I, like, actually enjoy through through the Discover Weekly. And so it's actually been such a good experience, and I would just highly recommend. Hi, Evan! I'm filming a YouTube video. Last part is just some miscellaneous stuff that I love. Um, mug cakes. Mug cakes. So good for the fall. So delicious. I have a recipe for a pumpkin one that I'm gonna like below that's just great. I, I went through a mug cake phase a while back and like when I say that it informed who I am as, as an individual regarding food, I really do mean it. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna have some links to my favorite Mug cakes below, maybe a pumpkin one, a chocolate one, a vanilla one, mm, 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 mug cakes. And I mean, I'm like a sucker for pumpkin, anything pumpkin, I'll probably love it. Another thing that I really like is clouds. There have been so many really cool clouds today. It's just made me feel so good. Just like looking at the clouds, which I know sounds kind of dumb, like whatever, Claire, who cares about clouds? But like, okay, there aren't any clouds in the sky today. Clouds are rarer than you think they are. Um, especially cool looking clouds for a girl like me, just a poor little girl from California. Um, <laughs> not to say that we don't have clouds, we have plenty of clouds, but like, seeing cool and interesting looking clouds is just something that makes my day, so I figured I'd include it here. Clouds are great. Y'all who have clouds, appreciate them. I also did Inktober this year, which was really fun. I'm not really like a visual artist, I kind of stopped drawing like a while ago, but um, I, I really, I don't know, I really enjoyed doing Inktober and just like drawing every day for that month. Actually, technically I failed Inktober because I didn't draw on the last day because I was traveling. Don't tell people, but, um, <laughs> but it was really fun just to like be creative. 
and and stuff especially since October was such a busy month so I say that but like September was such a busy month and October was such a busy month and now November is shaping up to be such a busy month and it never ends and I don't mind that but it really doesn't um so I guess I should stop saying that things are busy because that's just my new normal so you know this fall's been average busyness I guess whatever <laughs> who do I think I am but yeah, this fall's been really busy, but really, really lovely. Um, I hope that your fall has been lovely too. And I, I know that I haven't been making that many YouTube videos, but uh, I uploaded a podcast episode, so you should check that out down there. I had a, the, my poem, um, Empty, was published in Cam, Canvas Literary Journal. I'll also have that link down below if you want to check it out. Um, I guess that's all for the updates with me. Sorry for talking about myself for so long, but you know, it has to be done. Tell me about you and your fall, how it's gone, and how you, uh, any of your hopes and dreams for the winter. I have high hopes and dreams for winter. I think it's going to be a wonderful season. Um, and I will see you all soon. Bye!